thought about wallpaper lately? Today's wallpapers are chic and modern, offering a variety of colors, designs, and textures that are bright, colorful, fun, dramatic, and even trendy. At Brewster Home Fashions, we design wallpapers that are easy to live with. If you are looking to update your living space as a true expression of your taste and personality, wallpaper is a great alternative to a plain painted wall. Thanks to Pace the Wall technology, it is surprisingly easy to install and remove modern wallpaper in just a matter of hours. Gone are the days of needing a professional. Follow our easy steps and you too can transform a room in just a matter of hours, just like a pro. To get started, you're gonna need some essential supplies which can be found at your local paint and decorating or hardware store. Paste. Paste brush or roller, knife or snap-off blade, level, sponge and bucket of clean water, smoothing brush or plastic smoother, tape measure, four inch to six inch putty knife and or straight edge, a pencil, step stool, and finally, turn off your cell phone and turn on the music. First, you need to make sure the walls are clean of all debris and that the surface is smooth. Spackle and smooth out any holes or rough areas on the walls as they may affect the final finish of your wallpaper. When deciding where to begin, if hanging wallpaper on all four walls, you ideally want to start in the most inconspicuous corner of the room. Some examples of an ideal place to start would be in the back corner of the room, behind a door, or a large piece of furniture. The most crucial step in hanging wallpaper is making sure the first strip is straight and level. This will impact the rest of the room, so it is important to take your time and do this first step correctly. To begin, you want to start by marking a guideline on the wall for the proper placement of your first strip. Select your starting point and measure over one inch less than the width of your wallpaper roll. This will give you some overlap around the wall's corner, which you will trim later for a perfect fit. Mark the spot with pencil in the middle of the wall at just below eye level. Now take out your level and draw a three to four foot vertical line with your pencil. This will be your guideline for aligning the width of the first strip of wallpaper. Now that you have measured out the correct width of the wallpaper roll, we now need to measure the length for the strips. Take your roll of wallpaper and measure the length of your first strip against the wall. It is important that you take into consideration the design of your wallpaper while doing this. Generally speaking, you don't want the top to start in the middle of a design, so it is important to be deliberate about where you want the design to begin. This will be different for every decorating project, so make your best determination. When measuring the length of the wallpaper strips, be sure to allow a minimum of two inches at the top and bottom for you to trim at the end. Later, you will see why this is important. And finally, taking your super sharp knife, blade, or scissors, cut your first strip of wallpaper. Okay, so you have measured and cut your first wallpaper strip, and now you need to paste it to the wall. It is important to get this first strip centered and leveled perfectly, as you will be hanging the rest of the strips based off of the first strip's position. At this point, we only want to paste the area for your first strip and not the entire wall. We suggest using a paste brush from your toolkit as it will give you the most control. Take your brush and paste enough of the wall to accommodate the first strip of wallpaper. Next, line the edge of your strip against the guideline you drew on the wall, remembering there should be an overlap at the corner of about one inch. It is unlikely your walls are perfectly straight, so you may have to slide your strip up and down or back and forth slightly until the strip of wallpaper lines up with your guideline. It will take the paste a few minutes to dry, 
so you have plenty of time to adjust as necessary. It's okay to be a perfectionist. Once you have lined up the wallpaper strip to your liking, smooth it out using the smoothing brush or plastic smoother to make sure there are no bubbles or ripples. Using your knife, trim all overlapping edges of the wallpaper immediately using a hard edge to cut against to keep your line straight. Always use a sharp knife or blade for every cut. Try not to lift your knife when making long cuts. Instead, move the hard edge and then follow with the knife. Take a wet, clean sponge and wipe off any glue residue from the front of the wallpaper strip. Remember to only use clean water. On to your next strip. If you have a pattern repeat, you will also need to match the next strip against the first one. Take the roll of wallpaper and hold it at the top and unroll it down the wall in order to measure the length. Again, be sure to start the second strip in a place that matches the pattern of the first strip. Repeat the process until the wall is covered. Okay, you've covered your first wall and now you are approaching a corner. What do you do now? When approaching a corner, hang the final strip on the current wall which will overlap the corner onto the new wall. Take your sharp knife and trim the wallpaper down the corner of the wall using a hard edge to cut against. Remember to always use a sharp knife or blade for every cut and to not lift your knife when making long cuts. If the trimmed piece is wider than one inch, you will need to paste the trimmed piece of wallpaper to the new wall aligning the pattern. Using your level, check that the edge of the trimmed piece is level. If it isn't, take a new strip of wallpaper and match the pattern as you did your previous strip when starting a new wall. Be sure that the first strip is level. Cutting around an electrical outlet is actually quite easy. First step is to turn off power at the fuse box. Next, remove the plate from the wall. When you hang the wallpaper, feel out the size of the electrical box underneath and cut out the size of the box. No need for perfection here. Your cutting can be rough. Put plate back on and you are good to go. Okay, so now you need to figure out how to hang the wallpaper over and around a doorway. When cutting and measuring your strips, remember as always to continue to match your pattern. Hang your strip from the top. For easier installation, take your scissors or sharp blade and create a relief by locating the corner of the door frame and cut at a 45 degree angle towards the center of the door. Take your straight edge and trim using a new blade, the top first and then the side. Paste and attach as usual. Repeat the same process for the other side. Step back and admire your beautifully wallpapered room. Move the furniture back into place, sit down, relax, and enjoy the ambience of the style you have created. Please visit www.brewsterhomefashions.com to view our entire line of wallpapers and home decor products.